Hi guys, um, so today I'm coming to bring you a video of some of my top 10 Christian movies that I've seen. They're really not in any particular order. I just made a list and I'm going to go through them with you guys today. So my first one is not really a movie, but it's the Chosen series. It's a really great quality and I love how it humanizes Jesus. It actually made me fall in love with Jesus like as a person like showing his humble side and his humility and his kindness and his gentleness and the way he interacts with kids and like just other people just really humanized him and didn't make him into this like godly above all figure that they usually portray him to be in movies it really made him human for me I just recently watched the movie The Forge in theaters and this is such a good movie it shows like a mother's love and like the transformation of this really punk kid who's like up to no good, just crashing at his mom's house, showing no respect, um, just to, plays video games and doesn't have a job, just taking it easy, no responsibility. But it shows how he transforms from this punk kid to a respectful, godly man, and he joins in with these other men who disciple him and teach him how to walk the walk of God. Such a good movie. Um, number three is Fireproof. Um, it's for married couples or even like um, a relationship who's thinking about getting married. Maybe you have a fiance. This is a very good movie to watch. It's kind of show how to um, add the things of the Bible and how God wants you to have a marriage and the things you should do for your spouse and the way you should live. Um, just add that into your relationship. Uh, it shows actually a very realistic marriage. Um, struggling and having uh, a lot of conflict in the beginning and the way she uses the Bible to kind of restore their marriage a little bit at a time and this also comes with the book The Fireproof and I've used this myself um, me and my husband we had a, a good relationship but it was just a good average relationship and I used this book secretly to every day I think it's for like 30 days and it made our marriage so much stronger. Um, gave us like a deep respect and love for each other. Uh, my next movie, number four, is War Room. I absolutely love Priscilla Shire. I love to listen to her messages, her um, speaking, her interviews, everything about her. But this movie truly shows you how to learn to fight in prayer. How to go to war with the devil in prayer it's so good um number five is left behind um they have like the older one from like maybe the 90s and they have one from 2004 and there's several more i had just re recently watched the tribulation force which was super good it kind of shows how the tribulation comes into place um it shows how they make a world one world government it how, shows how the mark of the beast is established and more. It's just really interesting to see all that kind of see how it would come to place in the real world. Number six is To Save a Life. It's about this popular guy in school. He has all the friends. All, he's got the prettiest girl in school. Well, one of his old best friends commits suicide right in front of him. And it just kind of changes him. And he befriends this kid that's not so cool in school and kind of turns his life around. He turns to Jesus and all his friends that he had before he became a Christian, they kind of betray him. And it kind of shows like the battles he goes through. It's really, really good. I really like it. And number seven is A Walk to Remember. This is one of my favorite movies I've ever watched. It's probably number one on my favorite movie ever. I just love it. Um, it's got Mandy Moore in it, and it's a love story about this very popular guy who falls in love with a Christian girl, and she really changes him, and it's got a twist in it if you've never seen it. It's so, 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 so good. You will definitely need a box of tissues. I remember the first time I watched it, I was so, like, blown away by the twist of the story, and I cried for days after. I remember taking a shower after and literally crying through my whole shower. Uh, number eight is Jesus Revolution. It's based on a true story from, I think, about the maybe late 60s, early 70s. It's a movement of Christianity that brought a multitude of people starring Jonathan Rumi, I guess is how you say his name. He plays Jesus in The Chosen, and it's really good. I really like it, and I believe that God is going to do this again these days, and we're going to have a 
outpour of his spirit in our generation. I'm just, I know that's going to happen, and I just can't wait to see it. Um, number nine is Overcomer. Um, after a town goes through a financial crisis, there's a basketball coach that takes a cross-country coaching position. He hates it. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't even think cross-country is a, a sport. And then, above all that, he only has one girl on the team. And anyways, he becomes very hard-hearted. He meets this dying man in the hospital who changes his life. The girl transforms from a thief to a committed Christian. The coach discovers who he is and what makes his identity. It's a very, very good story. All right, number 10 and the last one, I actually just watched it this morning and it was so good. It's called The Case of Christ. It's a true story of an atheist man who is set on believing in things he can touch, see, or feel. Anything other than that, like faith, um, God, Jesus, any of the beliefs like that. If he can't see it and prove it, then it's not real to him. So he, his wife gets saved, um, and he just sets out on this mission to prove her wrong, that Jesus is not real. So he goes and looks for all this evidence and facts trying to prove that God is not real. He seeks and seeks and talks to the psychologists and doctors and finds articles, and he cannot find proof that God is not real. And it's really, really interesting to see how that all comes about and how um, it really affirms like what we believe in as Christians. I would love to for everybody to watch this movie, especially if you're having some issues with your faith, not believing, or maybe you're an atheist and don't believe at all. Just check out this movie. But anyways, these are my list of top tens. I haven't seen every Christian movie, so I can't tell you that there's not any others. But these are all really good movies to me. Um, hopefully you can check some of them out if you haven't seen them all. And if you have a favorite movie, leave down in the comments um, what are some of your top Christian movies. And I'd love to check them out. I want to watch them all. I love it. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Have a blessed day.